know what I love? 12 minute streams. Yeah. Anyway. Get back to uh, boo hunting. Thankfully, no actual story progress was made because I'm just going to erase that a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather it not be like this. Not like this. That's, that's what I don't want. I don't want a 12 minute stream with what seems like 10 minutes of dicking around with my computer. Anyway, floor seven. Let's catch another boo. I think it's just, it's most upsetting because Pokemon comes out this week. I'm taking like, I have six days off and I want to stream a good at least half of those days and at least for like a decent amount of time because like right now like I know that I'm not like I know I'm not streaming very much definitely not very long like I might be streaming during the weekdays but not for very long, but, uh... Like, I don't know, like, I actually am looking forward to having the time to actually stream the way that I want to stream. Part of what's keeping me from doing what I want to do is just the fact that... Getting home so late, just... It's putting me off what I would normally want to do. Because I get home at, like, 5.30 now. Which makes me feel like I don't actually have that much time to do the things that I want to do. And I don't go to bed until like midnight, which is seven hours later. Okay, there's a ghost in here. Bootinist. Oh. Yeah, I just, I don't know, like, I want to take advantage of the fact that I have, like, a week on. And my computer not working properly scares me, because I don't want to have to deal with that during my week on. Have I seen the list of Pokemon that are in and out? No, I have not. I will tell you that even though I'm in the camp of... That I am the type of person that is generally okay with things. Um, <clears throat> this is actually one of those things that I'm not okay with. Um, because I'm in the firm... I'm of the... I'm a firm believer in the fact that Pokemon is for collecting all the Pokemon. And honestly, I was very upset about it. I even made a YouTube video about it and everything, but I don't know if actually viewing the list of Pokemon that are in and out is going to make me feel much better about it. Maybe I'll look at it. I have no idea. I don't know. I was crushed when I first heard that. I've been taking my Pokemon with me for, like, fucking ever. Oh, quick way down. Oh, no, it doesn't actually get me down. I'm just trying to put it past me and just be of the mind that there 
All right, actually a decent amount of Pokemon in there. A whole bunch of new ones. Oh, oh yeah. Help me feel better about it. Uh, okay. I actually like the idea of Nuzlocks. Um, I don't do them very often. Uh, but I like the idea of Nuzlocks. I think they're better in competition rather than uh, on my own. Um, but I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll try a Nuzlocke. Who knows? I'm going to be playing both versions of the new Pokemon anyway. Maybe the one that I do on stream, I'll do it as a Nuzlocke. A game that I know absolutely nothing about, I will do as a Nuzlocke. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not quite sure. Uh, when it comes to Pokemon, I'm a breeder and a collector, so that's why I was not very happy about the change. Wait, a Nuzlocke for Smash? Like, through the story mode or something like that? Because I can't imagine that there's really any other mode that you can do it on. Right? Anyway, oh, it's a new floor. Paranormal Productions. I mean, what do you think? Seeing as you're probably going to be the only one watching me anyway. Uh, should I do a Nuzlocke for Pokemon? <laughs> yeah, a breeder. I like putting, I like putting two small creatures together, making a mash, <laughs> creating babies. Oh, I dig that helicopter. I'm gonna make the helicopter go. Ah, the crystals are film rolls. Reels. Kind of funny. I can control the the spotlights. Okay, you're fucking freaking out on me. There be gold in them hills. I mean, and that's the thing, like, I, I'm i getting both versions. I'm going to be playing both versions of the game, so. Like, the version that I play for myself, maybe I won't do a, a Nuzlocke. Maybe that I'll play, like, for realsies. For realsy reels. But, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't play competitively either. I actually suck at battling. Um, I think I have a good idea of what I want to do for battles, but I'm never any good at them. Wow. I'm good when it's against the, the computers. I don't like the fact that I can't get up on that shelf. There's clearly something there that I want. And again, these fucking things over here, Jesus Christ. Is 
That's fucking Super Mario Strikers? Right? Yeah. This is... I don't know what that is. It looks like it could be tennis. This, of course, is Luigi's Mansion. <clears throat> That's Punch-Out, right? Yeah, Punch-Out. What is this? <laughs> I love the fact that there's a boxing glove in there. <laughs> I'm one hundred percent. Uh, I'll battle the CPU with whatever is cutest. I don't battle people and I don't make games hard on myself, so I'll buy 99 potions and use 20 in one battle. Okay, that's what I thought. I can hit one of these things over here. Super weak ass punch there, bro. Try to avoid that shit? I don't know. They're too valuable. I try never to use anything like that. Like I'm gonna have an I'm gonna have an inventory full of items <clears throat> by the time I finish any one of those games, because that's just just the way I roll. Where did you go? I don't get it. I don't get it. I mean, yeah, it's showing the same thing, but... Who's here, honey? The TV people. Yeah. Oh, yep. Pep. Oh, 
yeah, L man. <laughs> <laughs> he just he just called himself L man. <laughs> that's the that's the most precious thing. L man. Aww. L man indeed. You've never gotten that, like, these are my items, I can buy more, I'm gonna use them. Well, it's always because, like, money, it, it seems to be, like, such a finite resource in, in most of the older Pokemon games. And so if you use all your money on, like, the items, you can't use them for the things that you actually want to use them for. So, I'll buy a billion Pokeballs, but, oh my god, will I spend money on a, on a fucking, uh, potion? Nah. <laughs> Super sting. Like, items for me are like a last resort. Anything else? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, time to send Guiji into the wild blue yonder. The wild goo yonder. Thanks for cleaning out them pipes. <laughs> nah, I gotta have like 500 Pokeballs. That's that's all I want to spend my money on in Pokemon games is the Pokeballs. The more money that I feel like I can make, the more free I am with purchasing things, but. And I know that I can always like spam the Elite Four, but I don't know, that that's only so much fun. Hey, Mr. Director, man, I hope you don't mind me breaking up all your medals and awards and stuff. I don't even want to use rare candies. And I'm I'm the type that'll like it'll I'll save the master ball for something really random and even though like I'm at the thing that I want to use the master ball for I'll still try using just like a basic ass pokeball. A buoy. Like an Emmy. But for ghosts. Uh, what? <laughs> I liked that though. That was that was good. That was creative.
Can I get one for doing it the other way? Now it seems that the reels are locked. Yeah, that was kind of neat. I like that. That was that was good. Okay, let's go say hi. The tragedy! Oh, is this my end? This is what I, Morty, directed the finest films I'm destined for. How could I lose it? I'm a puny, worthless movie director. That's all. Even the sparkle from this beautiful button is now nothing but a dull hue. Ah! My bright red megaphone! Where art thou? It's just like the vault of Disney. I would give anything to be able to hold my dear sweet megaphone again! Maybe if you clean the place up a bit, you'd feel better about it. Here, have a fucking bucket for your tears. Ooh. <laughs> it actually was. <laughs> a container to hold my tears. I could fill it to the brim and then some, but it is not to be. My tears are best suited to fall upon the ground. Go! Fill the container with some other liquid. Consider not the tears I shed. Uh, I got a bucket. I mean, I dig it. That's exactly the kind of humor that I want. gonna say the answer I was gonna say. Bum, 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 bum. Moving on in innocent children's game. Those giant packing peanuts? God. How the hell did they get up there? <laughs> right, where'd I put it?
No, I'm, I know that I'm supposed to be finding him his megaphone, but I don't want to. Not yet. Is a working breed. <laughs> Possibly. Where does Clacker go? Uh, yeah, it's a good movie. Don't tell me I fucking broke it or lost it. Damn. Can I get a better camera angle? Ah, uh, yeah. I would indeed want a two. My heart, oh, now my heart suffers. Do not slander the title of director by applying to it to me without my megaphone man worthy of carrying such a name. It's a film. Okay. Uh, how do I make it not ice? It was, it was a cute movie. I think that maybe they should have ended it differently, but I liked it. Wow. Uh, how do I... Like, seriously, how do I make it not ice? So how my art suffers. I saw you, gold yeah. spider. that they hiss. That's no bueno. No bueno. I don't know, but it worries me to think that they're that that it's possible that they could. Yeah. 
that a giant fucking coin? Uh-oh. Those must be hardy webs. I know what this means. Fucking nail. Yes, 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 I know. Busy. But he's not going to leave me alone about that fucking shit. Okay. Ready for a giant spider? From zero to 20,000 seemed to be fast, but any money after that seems to be slow. Possibly. That's how you do it. Okay. I mean, maybe it's just because it's such a big number it seems slow. But I mean, I'm earning a fair amount of money. Why only there? Huh? 
Hello. Something is not right here. Oh, they knocked out a couple of the staples. I know it's just a prop, but I still don't like it. I hope you're getting all this good action, Luigi. Maybe now I can do something about that bottle. <laughs> uh. Oh. Guiji can just go inside of it. All right. It's great! Well, it says set it on fire, but I don't have anything that I can necessarily use to set things on fire. I don't think that's going to work.
somehow. I figured out how I melt this, though. Eventually, I will gain access to something through these teleporters. So why don't we go here? Ah, firefighting helmets. This is promising. I don't like how easy it is to find things that just, like, clog up your horn. Could definitely be. I like money from sewers. Yikes. <laughs> no shame. Everything is anybody's kink. That's just the way that it works these days. Get two sticks that you rub together to make fire? Yeah. That's somebody's kink. rope, a rubber band, and a harmonica? That's somebody's kink. Got a plate full of pet petroleum jelly? Again, that's somebody's kink. I remember joking around about the fact that that uh, we created something called the uh, the aisle six. This was I worked in a grocery store, so everything was grocery store related. Um, and it was basically like you uh, 
came to a grocery store in a trench coat. Yeah. And, uh... You basically pick a random customer in aisle six and bone them real hard right there in the middle of the store. <laughs> because, of course. Uh... Beware, chair. Did I just put a chair in a tree? Oh. Well, chair's not supposed to be there, but that's okay. Time. Aha. It is indeed strange. I don't need your fucking hints, Egad. Uh -huh. I don't need your hints. <laughs> what I need is that block of ice. Can't be the goo. Hello. Hello. Doesn't matter. Uh, goal achieved. That'll fucking take care of you. Turn a Tree sounds like a song by that one band that did the trees rise up. I don't even know who that band is. I like this cute little siren. brick back there. Solve that problem. Oh. I'm just back here now. Okay. That's right, he can go all T2 and go through those things. Talk about how the little trees overthrew their big tree oppressors, because they hogged all the sunlight. Oh, so that's literally Rush. 
And it's about uh, the maples and the oaks having a feud. Because the the oaks think that the ma the maples think that the oaks suck up all the light. And the maples or the and the oaks just wish that the maples would just be happy in their shade. And uh, about how the trees create unrest in the forest and all the creatures are afraid and flee. And in the end of it, it's basically uh, they come to a, 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 a compromise where they all are made equal by hatchet, axe, and saw. And uh, <laughs> it is definitely one of the more, like, fucking, like, weird lyrical songs that they do. Uh, but like I listened, I listened to that song today, so I am I am completely aware of of what that song is. But the description is what gave it to me. When you just said the trees rise up, I'm just like, what? <laughs> what at all? <sighs> okay. So what's in here that could carry fire? Yes, probably. Nope, that's not it. Okay, well, we need to find something else. Is there anything in here? Nope. Got a number one. Haunted spooky set this time, I think. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> One of my favorite songs by Rush is Red Bear Shetta. Yeah. Uh, about a kid who has an uncle that has a farm and the uncle left him a car. 
and uh, yeah. the kid finds it at a later time, and it's pristine, I guess, and he takes it for a drive and ends up playing chicken on the road with some other, like, really fast car or something like that, and I don't know if it ends with a conclusion where, like, there's a big crash, but it's a cool song. I, I, I like that song a lot. Subdivisions is good. I like Working Man. Tom Sawyer's fun, but I feel like it's overplayed. Why Y Z one of theirs? I forget. Uh, Marathon is a really good song. I don't know. Rush is really cool. They are cool dudes. Dudes. Huh. Favorite boat. Hey, Georgie. All right. Hey, it's Georgie. Don't you want your boat? <laughs> Who's really cool? <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, I don't know, like, I just like a lot of random shit. I mean, it's a well. It, it only uh, it only makes sense. But I don't understand what her purpose is. Like, clearly I'm supposed to give her something. But the question is, what?
Hmm. Well, the, the ice block is fine. Like, the, I did what I needed to do with the ice block. A <laughs> sword. I'm gonna give her a ball. Shit, did I lose the ball? No dice? Okay. <laughs> the other areas don't really have anything. Oh. I think I figured this one out, at least. <laughs> no corner. Alright, you ready for another jump scare? supposed to take the bucket. Lady, bucket. Oh my god. Well, I put it in there. Maybe now I can do something with it. So I was right. Ooh. Now. Now take this. Ooh. I'm guessing to this one. Okay. 
Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Uh, the answer is no. Surprisingly. So maybe it goes to something else entirely. I'll leave it right there. There is still one door. Ooh. Ooh. Hello. Ah, it's for a plant. I was thinking too obvious. Fuck off. Yeah. yeah, that is definitely a thought. I did kind of do everything backwards. But life's more fun that way. Backwards. Thoughts? <laughs> no. Not my type of people. I think the word is funny, but I don't like the people. I prefer a regular human being. I don't know, like... Thoughts are a bit much, it's just like... I respect a decent amount of... I don't know, modesty, I guess? Like, yeah, I want to look and I want to see. But, I don't know. 
Gotta at least like kind of work for it a little bit. Yeah, just give away the show for free. I wonder what happens here when we turn on the camera. <laughs> no. <laughs> they deserve no respect whatsoever. I'm just saying, like, I just, I'm not a fan. There's a reason, I don't know, there's a reason why the people like that do stuff like that, and I don't really want to involve myself with that. I think they just... The idea that somebody could be so fucking thirsty. It's like, I'm desperate, I'm lonely, but goddamn, I will not stoop to anything like that. Okay. I just I think it's kind of humiliating. All right, I know where to bring the water. That way, hopefully, we can get on top of there and crucify somebody. Yes, yes, yes. Can't just let me figure something out for once, please, Professor? <laughs> I don't know. I just... I guess, like... I want people to have respect for themselves. I don't know. Don't get me wrong. Like... I fucking... I love tits. And... I love women. But... I don't know. Just like... Fucking respect yourself a bit. It's not me that has to respect them, it. They just need to respect their fucking selves. Maybe. I don't know, I could be completely off base here. As far as I don't, okay, as far as the people that I feel created the demand, I I don't think the demand is actually there. I think just people. I don't know. It's a thing. It's 
doing what they do for essentially easy money, disrespectful for themselves or even without the money. I said so they just wanted to put on a show and places designed for such. Okay. There is more to it in that aspect. Um, sure, like definitely there is. Um, I don't know. It's just like I think there's take the fucking torch. There's there's two sides to it, right? There's there's the people that get into it because they want to. There's the people that get into it because they have no choice. But then again, it's just like okay. Like what? Like that Bill Bill Delphine girl, the the gamer girl or whatever. It's just like, to me, I see that and I'm just like, that's it's just that super cringe. Like, selling private Snapchat things and, and just like the way that people just go crazy for stuff like that and, and think that they have some sort of relationship with that girl and that's how she makes money. I don't know, it's just like, I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I just, I don't like certain things about it. And, and it probably like, makes me seem like super hypocritical. Because like, I'm willing to look at stuff like that. Because yes, I am, I am a man and I like certain things. But I don't know, it was just... I don't know, I feel like they just the person does it, they have to be okay with it. I'd hope that they were okay with it. But that sort of stuff, like you can never tell until you actually know the person. And even if you know the person, What are the chances that you'll understand how they're feeling? Like, you're not in that situation. They are, so... If you're not going to be in that situation yourself, how... How do you handle it? I don't know. I don't know! Wait a second. Hold it right there. I didn't notice until now, but your face, you have some nice features. And your build. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, I know. Everybody's going to have their own feelings about that stuff. I personally am not a fan. I think that people that just go out there purposely to to sell their tits and ass that's i don't know it's something else like okay i even feel like there's a difference between like those like snapchat models i think there's a difference between that and like uh porn actresses for instance and like props to porno actresses you know they're fine porn stars that that seems like a natural job seems like they're actually doing work granted like the work that they're doing is whatever it is but it's like just those those uh uh snapchat people it's just like they're there purposely to get people to give them money for showing them their tits and ass and that seems to cheapen the the process i don't know like it's so fucking weird like I, it's like they're both doing the same thing but differently i don't know 
<laughs> it just it just seems it just seems overly fake. It seems overly uh it seems I like I almost equate the people that do that to like the people that stand on the side of the, the stand of, stand on the side of the street asking for money. I don't know. <laughs> Could you imagine the people inside the street <laughs> being Instagram thoughts? <laughs> just just roll reverse that thing. Uh, but that's that's sort of how I feel about it. I see the makings of a star. Hmm. My creativity is shaking off all the dust and surging to life. Um, come, let's start shooting. Where's my crew? Places, everyone. Take your places. Maybe it's because I'm jealous that I can't do the same thing. I don't know. I know that if I was a woman on Twitch, and if I was attractive, I would have a bigger following than I have now. It's very likely that that would be the case. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm not out to fight a war to... to to change the world on any of that stuff. I just, it's just, it's how I feel about it. This is super cute. Actually telling me what to do. I don't know, man. There are definitely the people that do take advantage of the fact. But then there are the some that don't. I don't know. I'm opening up a whole can of worms here. I get it.
<laughs> That's cute. I don't know, man. I don't know. Because ultimately, there are the ones that do it and they manage to get away with breaking the rules on Twitch. Um, and they make money for it. And yes, I do think that that's kind of not right. But who am I to stop them? Because I'm just one person. And if I was to say anything bad about it, that would make it seem like I felt that it was unfair. That it felt that I was at some sort of disadvantage because of the gender that I'm in. That's not what I'm trying to say. I just, I don't know. It's fucking stupid. Here's your bright little light bulb thingy. I like that that was different. I'm sure that there's plenty of people out there that'll be like, it doesn't matter. And there's plenty of people that people that'll be like it does. And I don't know, there's always gonna be people on both sides of that. And it's just it's never gonna stop. Like, you could feel that it's one way, and I and I sort of feel like you're more okay with it than I am. But I don't know. I just I just feel that people need it. If they if they're gonna get something, they need to work for it. That's literally it. I just don't want. I don't like people taking shortcuts. It's nothing to do with gender. Or anything like that, because there's men that do the same thing. They use their sexuality and their attractiveness to appeal to an audience and make money. This is just what happens. I just think that they're... I don't know. It, cheapen, it cheapens the product. The film is almost complete. Almost. Do not disturb me now. The editing process requires absolute attention. Uh, nope. Well, it's done. I'm not going to go into it any further because my my view is going to stay the same. Um, and I feel like I'm just going to create just a stupid argument. But if you read the rules of Twitch, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Anyway, on that note, I'm just going to leave it at that. Again, I don't want to start some argument about this. I think the, the matter is trivial. It doesn't affect me. I don't know. I just want to keep having fun doing what I do. Huh. But anyway, I'll probably be back tomorrow, or Wednesday. We'll see. It's that fucking cat. I didn't have to suck him up. I just did. You stole my fucking button. D. 
semen feline. Pretty sure they went this way. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, I gotta figure out what the hell is going on here first. That's not fair. Almost. They have to wait longer? This Christ, I feel like he's gonna kill me.
Did I get it back? It's definitely not here. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Oh, I get it. Things can be possessed now. They're still going fucking crazy. Okay, anyway. Can I go down now? Yeah. Anyway, we're just gonna go to floor seven. But I'll let it save. All it quits at that. Anyway, I'll be back. By Wednesday. Tomorrow. Maybe. I don't know. I have no idea. Mostly we'll depends on my computer. I'm not going to be here, th well, I'll be here Thursday, just late. But yeah, see you later.